hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pejo Lungu and today we'll be drafting a basic bodice pattern this is used to make shirts dresses jackets t-shirts and all the clothes that actually come from the top part of your body all right guys so on this paper i've drawn the shoulder line which is horizontal and now we're going to put in the vertical measurement i'm going to start with my shoulder to bust measurement which is 10.5 uh, my shoulder to bust measurement and then my shoulder to waist is 16 shoulder to hip measurement is 22 and my full length is actually 24 and i'm going to draw horizontal lines from here all right, so I've laid down my horizontal measurements here. So I've got shoulder to bust, shoulder to waist, shoulder to hip, and the full length. And from here, we're going to calculate the neck and shoulder. Um, so for the neck, we did, and neck depth. The neck is 17 divided by 5 which is going to give me 3.5 and 17 divided by 6 which is going to give me 2.8 then for the shoulder i'm going to calculate the shoulder divided by 2 which is going to give me 8 that would be for the shoulder length and we can go into it so for the shoulder we did 3.4, I'm going to mark it just here. Then for the depth, that was 2.8 inches, we'll mark it here. Then from here, I will make a box kind of, just to meet the points together. Okay. And that look like a box it does right then i'm going to put a curve this curve is for the front neck neckline and so i'm going to just curve my front neckline then from there we'll go to the shoulder we found that was eight so i'll measure my eight over here I'll start from the center, start from the center line. Then 8 is over here and add 0 0.5 for the ease. And come down by 1 to make the slope. You know your shoulder is not straight. All right. Then we'll have the shoulder depth to work with now. Oh, I mean the armhole depth. So for the armhole depth, we're going to get the armhole round 16 divided by 2, which is going to give me 8. Or you can use the bust circumference, um, which you can divide by 6 plus 1.5. And that will give you 8.1. I'll use 8. I'll use the 8. So this is the armhole depth. That I'm going to measure here then we'll join the lines at this point we're going to come up with the chest line the line that's being extended horizontally is now the chest line I'll label it here that's the chest line then I'll get the midpoint of the armhole depth so 8 divided by 2 is 4 and from here i'll go in by 0 0.5 okay i'll go in by 0 0.5 then i'll need to connect this line but then let me get the chest measurement i'll use the bust bust circumference divided by 4 She's going to give me 10 plus 0 0.5 is. 
so give me 10.5 which i'm going to measure on the chest line okay so i'm measuring this on the chest line 10.5 over here all right that's our 10.5 then we're going to join these three lines okay so if you have your armhole if you have your armhole ruler that can be very helpful the armhole curve can help uh, since I don't have one, I'm just going to join in as smoothly as I can. Okay. All right, this looks like a good armhole after all. All right, then I'll join it. Then we're done with the armhole. This will be the front armhole. We'll go to the bust. And here we're going to get our nipple to nipple measurement or our bust pan. Okay. A bus pan, which was 8 divided by 2, which is going to give me 4. This is for the dart, okay? So I'll go on my bus line, and I'll mark the 4. And I'll do this on all the lines, 4 inches. All right, then I can go draw a straight line just to attach all the points. Now we have a straight line. Then I will go to the bust, come down by one inch from the bust line, come down by one inch. Then from the hip line, come up by two inches. Then we can go to the west line. This um, is going to be a one inch dart. So 0 0.5 at one side of the vertical line and 0 0.5 the other side. Then we're going to join. Join from the tip where we came down by one and the tip where we came up by two. Uh, here we go. Our dad seems to actually have come out perfect for this huge rule that I'm using. Okay. Okay. So that's our dart and from here I'm just going to fill in the horizontal measurements. That's the uh, waist circumference um, which I'm going to divide by 2. Waist circumference was 35 divided by 4 I mean which is 8.7. The hip circumference was 42 divided by 4. It's going to give me 10.5 and I'm just going to fill that in. Dividing four because the body are making four parts. This will be done on four. So eight point seven is over here. Then I'm going to get the two, the one inch dot, and place it. Very important. Place the one inch dot in front of the eight point five. Then the hip line. That was 10.5. If I just mark it here. Then I'll join these lines. Remember, different bodies have got different curves. And it doesn't always turn out the same for everyone. Okay. So I'll join my line to the west. Then now to the hip. Okay. How can we join this line? All right. Let me just make a curve. 
my hip area you know is curved so I just curve that part like that mm, nice and I will put in this is the line the side that okay a side that just to make your busts a bit more prominent get the midpoint of the line from the chest line to the waist line the midpoint of that line okay so here is my midpoint I just folded my measuring tape then join this line to the tip to the apex okay then this is a one centimeter dad one inch dad so 0 0.5 will be added also and 0 0.5 at the other side of the line then go down by one inch from the apex then it's from this line that we're going to join the dots so this side that actually makes your bust area sort of pop out okay uh, please don't mind my ruler is so big i left my ruler all right that is our side our side that so now that we're done we're going to put the ex um, allowances i'm going to use one inch sewing allowance so i'm going to add that on all parts then i'll add at the waist and at the hip okay this is our allowance then we can also add some 0 0.5 inch allowance at the shoulder for joining the shoulders Okay, just put that 0 0.5. Then we can join. Okay. Then we can do the same thing we did over here. We kept it a little bit. Okay. I actually just did that with my free hands, but it worked. Then we'll come to the shoulder and just draw that line, okay? Okay, so this will be for joining the shoulders, this allowance. It's very small, 0 0.5. And I'm going to fill in the back part. So I'll just go down by 1.5 inch for my back piece. And I'll join the neckline like that. This will be for the back pattern. Okay. Then I will go to the armhole, join it from here, join it from this midpoint. This is for the back part also. Join this line smoothly up to the center. This will be our back piece. So these pieces are what I'm going to use to cut. I'll just add allowance at the bottom part. So I'm going to add one inch sewing allowance. Okay, one inch, and I'm also going to add um, another one inch just at the bottom of this for that dart. Okay, so for the dart, we add the one inch saying allowance at this side of the front pattern, and this will be uh, slanted. This line will slant a bit. Just to accommodate this um, dart, the side dart, because once the dart is made, the material will actually come upwards. So just to make up for that space. That's the reason for this slanted 
um, allowance that has been put beside. This is the one inch sewing allow uh, the one inch dad allowance that I've just put at the bottom. Then we'll join that. So I will do the cutting of this piece and make sure this is the front piece as I have said, but make sure you cut it as if it is the back piece. So we cut this. Okay. Trying to be as um, perfect as I can be in this cutting. You can see. Then here, make sure you're careful. Cut the back piece, not the front piece. So as you can see, I'm cutting out this back. This back pattern is what I'm cutting out just so I can use it to trace the back pattern. If you cut out the front part, you just have to restart the whole thing or you, you have to start again or you have to make a separate part piece that you start from scratch. But if you do this, you can just trace this. So even for the front, for the back um, neck, neck uh, line, I'm going to actually cut the one that's just on top which is for the back for the purpose of tracing as i have said so we are done with the back with the front and finally this is my back piece with the zip allowance that i've left okay so i'm just going to trace this starting from this line which is just on the zip allowance if you want you can fold the zip allowance in but i'll just be on this line I'm going to trace this um, piece directly on uh, the back piece. And I'll start with the points. So the bust points, the chest, the waist point, the hip point. Then this is the full length plus allowance point. Okay, so we're not going to put the dart because the back part won't have the dart. So let me just stress it. So I trace it all around. And I'm done with my tracing and this is how it has turned out. You can see the lines. I can just put in the ruler and draw the horizontal measurements now. Okay, so I've drawn in my chest, my bust, my waist, hip, and full length, of course, plus allowance. And I just label that here. Okay. My chest, my bust, waist, hip, and full length. So we'll go to the ax the same procedure. We're going to put the we're going to use the chest line to actually uh, start uh, marking the dart line. So this is the four that I'm marking. The four for the bust for the dart. So that I can draw the dot line. So that is our four, and we're going to connect. Remember, this is starting from the chest line, unlike the front piece where we started from the bust. So this is from the chest. I'll go down from the chest by 0 0.5 inches. Then I'll go up by 2 inches. 
from the hip. Then I'll go to the waist and put 0 0.5 at each side of the vertical line inside of this dart line. And I'll join the darts just like we did. Okay. So we're joining. Hmm. And it has also come out better than I thought it would. Okay, so this is my back dart. So at the bottom, I just add one inch allowance. I want my back dart to be a bit longer. This is a sewing allowance and has nothing to do with the dart. As you can see, there's no dart on the side seam. And this is the back piece, the back pattern. Okay. You can just perfect this armhole here. And this is how it has turned out. And I've just cut it out with a zipper allowance left in place. Then that is the front part. Now for the front part, you can see the difference. It has this dark allowance. Now I can cut out the piece, the back piece. We can now cut it out. Okay, to remain with the actual front armhole curve. So there. You can see the front armhole is more curved, and so is the front neckline. It is more curved than the back. So we cut them out. Okay, and there we have our difference in the front and back piece. Please, guys, do subscribe and like the video.